So we're done with uh, create an object in order to handle the database. Okay, with uh, again, so we'll start with the Windows object, which is available everywhere. Okay, we start with Windows object. Okay, we start with Windows object that is available. We are in this stuff. We start with Windows uh, JavaScript object, which is available everywhere in um, JavaScript environment. Then, then um, we call to the method dot open database. Okay, then um, calling uh, the method open database will return you will return you a database object which is db from the db object you are going to call to um, 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 a transactions okay it will give you a it will give you a transaction object inside it it's going to give you a transaction object inside it transaction callback from that transaction object you will need to uh, learn how to call the method execute sql okay from there you're gonna be able to put your sql query to run your sql query to create the database to create the database and this time we're going to try to let's say create that database and see if it's really really working or not so let's just uh, get back to the uh, let's get back to our, our phone grab application that we created earlier so i'm going to just remove every of uh, the long mass over here Okay, this one as well. Okay, and all this deformed thing, but keeping the uh, JavaScript folder, I think I'm going to um, cut the JavaScript. Just put it there first. Okay, then the CSS, I'm going to temporary. Uh, don't use the CSS yet. The index.js, probably I'm going to just remove everything. Okay, because this one is for the uh, default apps, and I'm, I'm removing everything. Then the index.css, uh, it is for the app itself, and um, just, just keep it. Then I'm going to, uh, for our convenience, I'm going to use jQuery Mobile uh, for developing this one. So uh, we are going to just add jQuery Mobile to this uh, website. And uh, we're going to go heavily on jQuery Mobile later on. But then let's just remove this kind of thing, okay? Uh, including of CSS so far, I haven't. I will not use that CSS yet. So this one is the main part of the website. Then uh, let's just go to jQuery Mobile, jQuery Mobile, this one, okay? WT School, and you're gonna click on um, Get Started, and we're going to start linking the necessary contents in order to use jQuery Mobile. Okay, so you're just gonna copy this and paste it. For those kinds, uh, I don't think that you should remember. It's not necessary to remember. You can get it uh, anywhere. So anyway, it is providing you um, the viewport, okay, default viewport. Then it's uh, provide you the jQuery mobile style sheet. It provide you the um, uh, JavaScript file, so on and so forth. There. Okay, so hello world is hello world. And for our JavaScript class, a Clover class, I think I'm just make sure that it won't be loaded before coding. So I'm just calling them here. Then um, I'm going to I'm going to um, include uh, our product handler in order to call it as well. So from here we are going to just copy this one and paste it there. And it should come to our product handler to sorry database handler so it's supposed to be database handler dot js it should call this one first and from uh, index dot js okay so i'm going to say uh, document when document ready on let's say ready you're going to call to a function and that function is going to call uh, make use of the database handler database handler object dot create database okay create database so database handler okay database handler okay is this one database handler yep okay uh, and this um, object database handler will be available in uh, this index.js because it is loaded 
because in this page it is loaded before the index.js so make sure you need to load this database handler before loading this okay before loading this okay so uh, we can try now database handler okay index.js okay now we'll I think we're ready we will try to edit configuration and we're gonna try to run it with browser okay just let's make sure it's easiest way to run with browser first before testing with other platform apply okay then if you run okay if you run okay it takes us a little bit time to uh, for us to first time build the platform over here so and then start the browser okay patience okay uh, launch success so we'll go to this one so we don't have any uh, graphics in the face over here because uh, what our purpose is to create the database first before creating the graphical user interface so let's just right click on this one in space and you will see let us check if we have some errors well, okay we have some errors over there uh, let's just see so uh, failed to load code uh, internet connection is disconnected so I couldn't load the um, documents okay let me just check my internet connection first okay I, it's just, uh, uh, I have just uh, look at this one so this kind of thing is internet connection is not uh, loaded because turned it is the, the file that we could load so now we just I just check my internet connection and I stop and rerun I just do not show this next time stop and rerun it okay let's just try and see so 200 200 200 okay so we could load all the uh, file that we need let's just have a look at this one so um, let's because I didn't create the graphical interface we don't see anything let's just see inspect then uh, we're gonna have a look at console Okay, the look is that create transaction completed successfully. Okay, from the database handler, that's good. Okay, that's good. So, in order to check if it's really created or not, we're gonna click on this one. Okay, if you have more tab, you want to see that, but uh, we don't have it. So, click on this one. You see the application tab over there. So, we're gonna look at Web SQL. Then, okay, you see that you have your um, product database created. Let's uh, see if we have yeah we have our product table created that one is done with creating the database uh, next time we're going to try to um, execute some further uh, um, um, SQL query let's say to insert some data into um, insert some data into the um, database okay